morning everybody today we get to work on a rs6 wagon it's a 2022 brand new car we got some uh Ekopovich goodies don't even know what they are we're about to open them do it live so that you guys can see hi everybody yeah let's check what we got for uh that installation probably it's new goodies we we don't know this is first time we unpack let's check what is that it's like three box from famous 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 company Akropovich okay uh, let's check what is this ah the fuser uh-huh wow looks it's wow, wow. Take the knife. I, I, I'm sure this is the best quality from carbon fiber. Uh, I don't want to say how much. Ooh. Wow. Definitely is clean. Definitely is clean. Oh yeah, clean job. Yeah, it's very... Oh, well, we're not gonna open it fully. Yeah, we don't want to scratch this. Just things. in case. Let's check the other boxes. What? Careful! It's morning time. It is morning. Do you time. get your coffee? No, not yet. Not coffee today? No. Oh, oh. This looks like down pipes, right? High flow. High flow down pipes. Yeah, Beautiful. keep the ecology Greta. This is for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mid pipes. It's a mid pipes. Hardware installation. So basically, oh. down pipe and mid pipe. Okay, this is down pipe and mid pipe. That's gotta be the probably muffler, the muffler right? Let's check what is that. Yeah, this yeah, is, this is the real muffler. Yeah, that is. Uh, no, uh, oh. it's a tips. No, it's installation. Installation? Yep. Hardware? Yep. Where's that? Oh, probably here's the tip. Let's check how it looks. Come on. Come on. Right. They do a really good job. <laughs> <laughs> Too good of a job. Yeah. Any tips? And this is carbon. What do you think? Probably carbon to oh, match the car. Woo. Lightweight, right? It doesn't weigh anything. Huh. Wow, so many parts. Yeah. Wow. Look at these guys. It's piece of art for me. How is beautiful that tips. Wow. Handle with care. Okay, Ilya. We have to <laughs> handle really, with care. Yeah. We really gently work on that tips. But see, I like how black that is though. But uh, that's just dirty. Uh, any R6 tips, what I, re I remember from what we have in US, they have a black tips and this is beautiful oval. It's uh, pure sex. Pure sex. Okay guys, uh, let's start turn down this, this car. Engine bay, it's really clean and actually how is, how it's small that engine looks. See? It looks tiny. It's, yeah. There's so much room right here. Yeah. If you remove the ECU. Really so much room over there. There's room here too. Yeah, there's just ABS and ECU module. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's small, but it's really powerful. Should be fun. Should be fun. Okay. You guys, keep an eye, stay tuned. We're gonna try our best to show you 
how we have to do everything to the down pipes, what we have to remove, what we don't. And uh, keep an eye on it. Take a look. Enjoy. Subscribe. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Today is a day full of exhaust work. Not only do we have the RS6 to do exhaust, which is halfway in, halfway. I mean, no, it's like not half, quarter way. Still got the center pipes and down pipe. But, but the muffler is out. Yes, we also have a Ferrari. This one we're doing down pipes Ferrari very pretty all black on black and later on we'll start on this puppy do some down pipes so today is a day full of exhaust full of fun lots of fun lots of uh, bloody knuckles <laughs> master Dima hard at work Ooh. yeah now it's time to remove down pipe for me the down pipe is looks similar than <laughs> uris yep right almost identical yeah and it might be identical mm, i think it's identical because engine is looks completely same and of course that car is need a special type of uh mobile one engine oil for like a low ash engine oil zero w40 with a special specification and you physically can buy it in another one sure because because they have a how is the calling not mm. produced enough no they just like they, they produce and have a contract with the factory well oh, of course and maybe patent no idea. Just like BMW had with Castro. But it's not anything available now. I mean just from any other brand. I hope. I hope any couple any couple any couple months year. No idea. Okay, uh, let's try to Okay. Clamps is a little bit. Let me take this smaller one. One. I don't want to scratch nothing. Ding. Okay. Okay, another one. It's really, I love to work with super low mass car is just like assemble it and we reassemble it mm -hmm. no rust Nothing. no surprise you, you mean this car with such low miles does not have rust like the uh, rust bucket or rusting I mean Mustang that was? a rusting Mustang yeah, yeah yeah is that what you're telling me <laughs> the one that came from Detroit not overseas did not have to be in a container or outside of a container yeah, this is funniest things. This car swim from Germany and looks like like it's have to be loose. Like brand 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 new Audi. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, it looks like like a brand new car. Uh, I think I need you might need my help no okay. i don't need your help no of course i need your help uh i would like to remove second one and just little bit move oh okay and then i have room um i mean this is new car it looks like oops it looks like new car mm -hmm. that mustn is weird i mean because well, how we can touch these things because that car same for <laughs> four months old same than this one and a lot of rust the question is uh, need a flashlight I need to catch this clip 
I need to crush this clip. Clamp. Mm, okay, yeah, I will try. I don't want to scratch and damage nothing. And let me try to this way. Yeah. Magic sound. Magic sound. Magic sound. Our clamps is good. I'm a little bit upset about that rusty bucket. What we posted the video last time. Definitely. Beautiful, expensive car. People love that car. It's this is iconic car from from Ford, and this is Shelby. This is not okay base model. Expensive. Oh, and. Funny things, guys. I know our two sub subscriber. They see that video, and after 2,000 miles, the gearbox is down from that GT500 snake. 2,000 miles, gearbox down, and they replace for free. Of course, <laughs> of course, for free by warranty but this is 2000 mile and down okay please cleanse and try to pull okay got it now remove the point one side another one whoa 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 come on now you have a room Oh, 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 almost, almost, yeah, yeah, we have a baby. <laughs> the one is here. Let's grab second one. For second one. Yeah, how is huge that cut? It's still cut over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's giant one. This is like a two part of cut. This is first piece. This is second one. We should start a new business. Ooh, now it's like in in world is that palladium. This yep. is this is uh, metal from catalog. It's really expensive, and I know many people steal that stuff. No, the customer would like to keep this shit for sure. Of course. Yeah. Uh, and he, of course, he take care about about mother nature, and this is why he installed it, cut it. It's a little bit high flow. But, but it's still, still cut it down pipe exactly same what we do on Ferrari too. Cut it high flow down pipe to avoid the smell and emission. Don't kill the birdies. Yeah. Okay. Finally, uh, everything turned down. Uh, all catalog is out. Let's leave this clamp over there and let me lift it up to show how it looks different exhaust. This car is new. And there's no bugs. Oh, I like. There's one right there. Okay. Here is the new exhaust and old exhaust. Here is let, let's like just like do the same thing. Uh, this is resonator. It's not catalytic. Resonator, resonator, and giant muffler. Giant. Uh, it looks heavy, but still good stainless steel. Okay, let's do the family picture. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 
that one is more skinnier yeah this is one piece high flow race cut oh it's the funniest thing you know what the hole is it mm -hmm. what is it like one EGT? yes it's a for EGT sensor cool yeah cut high flow race resonator and here is the muffler here is the muffler looks like snake but uh, this is just a muffler and the middle muffler for daily and then the valve turning system and that elbow going straight out and this is looks like a three inch this is two and a half and then uh, also another valve right yeah there. ah this is valve this is funniest things uh, you know guys why it's need an x-pipe it's mixed sound uh, h-pipe h-pipe no this is this is for the pressure mm. h-pipe and x-pipe uh, the x-pipe mostly people use like American muscle like bum 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 sound x-pipe is a little bit different note and high pitch note let's see let's see how it works of course I excited to install that exhaust because this piece of titanium here is the stainless steel it is the final day of the RS6 finished the exhaust yesterday did the diffuser yesterday uh, the gentleman still wants to do adjust the air suspension with all factory settings uh, he bought a special box to do it what's up Dimitri what's up Blake meet up? with the Blake uh, looks like maybe he our new team member maybe we'll, maybe. See. we'll see he's still young we'll see <laughs> uh, so yeah we finished this in uh, yeah almost. Uh, almost almost what we need to do the first uh, the customer asked about uh, lowering by uh, factory I mean he want to use like up and down button and all the all dynamic stuff we can do we have of course we have uh, all official tools and we done few times at Q7 we can lower it by uh, measurement but this is easy uh, check this out check this exhaust how it looks tips and how is the looks diffuser so sexy I mean that tips from Acropolis is the best oh by the way guys uh, here is the stage one from uh, yeah let's go to that screen that screen is much <laughs> better yeah because that's the small one uh, it's a stage one tune from uh, RS3 right. RS yeah. yeah you see from a couple of blocks ago we did the base pull here is the jump I mean it looks like here is the hunter horse by, by the end it's still like delta 50 but on the mid, mid range like for 43 44 100 horse more and 43 44 it's a big torque jump but it's still small turbos it's a factory turbo and if you remember we just have a, a cut it uh, unitronic downpipe and just the inventory intake but it's still elbow inlet pipe is still factory what secondary oh yeah yeah secondary cuts is deleted to straight pipe but it's still cut it exhaust to avoid the smell and here is the another guy uh, no 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 hold on i gotta look at this <laughs> again oh uh, you like that rear end that's one beautiful yeah. sexy rear end all right we'll continue yeah and if you guys remember i think uh everybody who like the audi r6 they remember the all sons r6 that that white body is crazy but that one is looks the c8 body after after the company like 1016 industries or acropovic who work with the carbon uh design the done the body kits for this car i hope this looks badass okay anyway let's check this guy uh that that car came from portland uh, that car is ruined by uh previous mechanic diagnostic whatever uh car being by it an auction uh of course key is lost and three or four people try to program the use key spare key whatever we don't know what happens they ruin it ecus and few more module the one locksmith guy 
uh, from Portland. He programmed it original key. He, he can buy it original key from factory and program it. But after programming, car is fire up and still some stupid problem. Uh, ECU, two ECUs is have an internal fault and car is, of course, is not working right. We finish it. We finish it. We fix that issue. Car is fine. We bleed the system. And let's fire up to check how is the car now. And just like simple, we, 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 we done the cone flash. And the car is still loud because it's just a <laughs> plumbing, plumbing pipe. Yep. Plumbing pipe. But let's fire up to check. It wouldn't idle whatsoever. Anytime uh, you start it up, it just dies, dies, dies. You have to give it gas. Test drive is successful. Of course, we go in with everybody to test drive on this beautiful R6. No, there's no room. No, we have so many different camera around. Okay, but now we need to finish one more thing. Uh, the first, uh, we decide to uh, lower this car. We can lower this car by official uh, Audi diagnostic tools, but this is not that interesting. We decide to do some cool stuff, and I would like to do some uh, film what is that and this is not like maybe this is like advertisement of product or just like i i would like to say this is little manual for installation and how to set and adjust here is the cool things this is active suspension control uh, <laughs> box is little bit damaged because shipping from europe is from germany how is these things works you download your app from App Store and you can play and adjust the level by your app. Just like simple. Like scroll, scroll, scroll. Done. Your car like this or like that. Or you can lower it and rise anytime. And good things is connect to your original harness just like need a connect uh, two can, ba can bus wires but everything connect to original uh, level sensor they have a two module uh, this is one is master another slave uh, kit for wire this is for front easy just like you disconnect and connect uh, uh, to original connection. Plug and play? It's all, but uh, it's pretty plug and play. Of course, we want to show. And this is uh, this is Meister for for rear. Uh, still same connection to level sensor, and this is connection to the module. Simple, right? Mm -hmm. And you just need to add two CAN bus wire to the all system, and uh, the system. They don't know what's going on because what is important for this for this uh, suspension adjustment speed. They want to know what speed because like uh, the car is can lift on a high level. Okay, let's start the install. Okay, first we start work with the slave device. 
and slave it means front. Uh, what we gonna do? The, remove this uh, belly pan. Good. Everybody see how it's both flying? <laughs> Special bolt. Uh, I think something around 10 screw by T25 torques. Okay, last one. Then we have a two clip. Let me take the screwdriver and we remove the two clip. <laughs> okay, one is almost here. Oops, it's really big. Giant. And one more. Mm, this is way faster. Okay, yeah, just remove this guy and leave over there. This is one more clips. And we need a fight. It's a two green connector for uh, level sensor. Here is over there. We need the unplug. One it's connector. Even the same color? Yeah, it's the same green color, exactly. We need unplug. And what we need to do... Uh, let me grab zip tie. Here we go. We need to connect green one to the sensor, black one to the green connector. And this wire going over there to another side. And then mask and protect the sensor. When we install, we we'll show how it looks. Well, uh, the front slave harness is already in. We connect just like, see, we uh connect, connect all uh socket and then we use zip tight it's like it's a good spot you know it's safe here is the module we connect to these wires and we secure couples of the, yeah the, the harness and connect exactly same than that side now we install it back uh belly pan that cover and jump to rear start to install the rear harness Okay, uh, let's see how we assemble it and connect the wiring for rear end. Here is the first one, sensor, of course disconnect, connect, and the wires go to that uh, subframe. Subframe, mm -hmm. cradle, you can call whatever you want. Here is the one more. You, you have a small area mm -hmm. here and you can connect by zip tie then then the wires go in going connect and here is the module we connect module to the subframe then okay the level level sensor connect connect and then the small now it's a small can bus wire going up to the trunk you can't really see it because it's yeah. very tiny but it no. goes into the trunk yeah, yeah. Uh, here is the wire going you can see that one just try to zoom see yeah right mm -hmm. here yeah wire go and over there you can see yeah this is uh entering to the trunk area they have a seal rubber seal and that mm, let, let me check one grommet yeah this like a grommet yeah and have an extra extra entering Mm. Similar to this. Yeah, this is like uh, yeah, this is like a grommet or 
like seal yeah right here and they have an extra uh entering and you just like cut one small piece and move that can bus wire inside and let me drop the car down and i will show you how it looks from trunk area <laughs> We need to remove, for entering to this area, we need to remove subwoofer and uh, spare uh, tools stuff check. like tools here yeah, and uh, lug nut socket. And then this grommet, what we're talking about, that seal, just to move the wire inside. And we need to go to this way, this way, and we need to connect to this two can bus wire. We have the, like a split these wires and connect to that wires. Let's connect. Okay, all wiring is done. That two can bus wire is going to this way from that uh, seal and connect to can bus. And here is the uh, can bus meter blah 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 for this acropovic controller everything going to same can bus to reach the speed the wiring color is identical yeah orange uh brown and orange black yeah just like easy and simple to connect now it's time to download up and test this suspension how this works <laughs> Well, already download up, and they have a three pro profile for three comfort, auto, and dynamic mode. Now it's in dynamic mode, and let's lower it and check how is this looks when we lower it. Uh, we go in minus 30. This is lowest for front, and minus 30 for rear and car start lowering lowering and you just like slowly you can see the front going down and rear going down see this is like start adjustment it's just to check the measurement and now it's how it's a front looks it's a minus 30 settings. Yeah. Okay, I think it's done. Here we go. No, no, still, still just like do. Uh, no, still lower. Yeah, and front and rear. Looks like take a time. So cool, yeah, now it's done, it's definitely lower, let's rise, let's rise this guy, let's do it 10, and 10, yeah, it start rising. This is uh, when you save the setting, you can just like adjust uh, three profile from inside and just never use that one. 
uh, when you save the setting for the module slave and uh, rear module slave and master you just can always use the measurement I mean just like comfort dynamic and auto see how it's high now it's like yeah it's, it's a higher looks like our job is done uh, it's really simple installation procedure for these uh, suspension control modules and yeah looks great <laughs>